welcome to Sun, Moon, Star, Tarot, where I encourage you to pursue your soul. My name is Sheena. Today I have for you guys a love update for fire signs that includes Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You know what to do if you like this channel and you know where to look if you want to work with me personally. I do offer a plethora of services. I will be doing your current energy, um, followed by clarifying that, and then we're going to look at current challenge, and then we will look at current thoughts, feelings, and then finally, current thoughts, all right? So, let's get started. Let's get started. <laughs> I never do that. You might be so much to think you're funny. Anyways, current energy in this connection for fire signs. Oh, we got bubblegum pink. Mm. Make a wish. Speak your truth at all times. <clears throat> so there may be a need for you to speak up, to be heard, have your desires met. Nor pink, goddess Kuan Yin. Of mercy, find the cure. Really interesting. Uh, three more cards, please. The current energy and this connection. We have angelic communication. Maybe needing some assistance with this connection. Needing to find, um, we have tincture here, so needing to find like a, an antidote to something, a problem, maybe a, a, there may be a problem in this connection or relationship. Deserve reward and purpose. <clears throat> Loving your soul path. Very interesting energy here. Um, I don't know, with Scorp I did word signs and their energy was very lighthearted. This one feels a little bit more heavy. It feels like there's some energy that's stagnant somewhere. Um, we have spiritual empathy, wisdom, clairvoyance, old thought, dark. Yeah, there's just, um, I'm just getting more heavier energy. Like, there is this beautiful, like, whimsical connection. There is some progression here. There is a lot of, like, repeating numbers. But I am also getting just very, like, more so kind of stagnation somewhere in the connection and just a need for you to constantly like voice how you're feeling. Maybe you're stuffing down how you're feeling um, and not being connected with your authentic truth and um, just needing to honor your path and honor your soul and honor what you want and understanding that you will be rewarded. Maybe you're afraid to walk the boat or maybe you're afraid to, just to be heard, be seen. Um, maybe you're not used to being seen. Maybe you're not used to speaking up and isn't necessarily the connection. That is hard, but you're just not having, you're not being used to like voicing your opinion. So you need to get comfortable with that. But I, I definitely will be clarifying or getting more on your current energy in this connection just because this is very interesting energy here. I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting more so like fiery pink energy, maybe some orange, but we have here a lot of blue. I saw me know there's a need for like a calm energy to like come through um, and to clear up. And we also have this yellowish combination. So that's also your solar plexus chakra. So a lack of action, lack of willpower. All right. Um, more overall energy here. We do have abundance, the king of pentacles. <clears throat> we have here the queen of pentacles. So this is probably a divine partnership or just a very high vibrational connection. Here we have the full, oof, interesting. All right, so we have a lot coming up. Uh, we have here change followed by intensity and mind. So this connection um, I don't know. I, I was reading a book basically, and she said whenever you get the fool and the relationship connection, it's just not the one basically. And it's very, very interesting. Um, I'm not saying this person is not the one because we do have a beautiful like dichotomy here going on. But again, the fool is someone who is just, it's like, 
it doesn't take things into consideration. So maybe you feel like your partner isn't taking your feelings into consideration. Um, I'm just getting, I'll, I'll just have your energy here. I'm getting that this is a beautiful divinely led connection. Um, but there's then there's also that another aspect to where it's like it, it, it needs to be um, overhauled. It needs to be renewed basically because there's just, there has, stagnation has come into the relationship basically. And it seems like it is miss, missing that intensity. Um, and intensity would be wands. Um, I don't, and it will be the Knight of Wands. So yeah, the Knight of Wands is said to be brash, um, can be uncaring, but I'm actually going to look in this new book here that I have because, um, they do things a little bit differently. And so I just want to see what their interpretation of the Knights are, the page, the page, and the Knight. All right. Um, the Knight of Wands. <clears throat> All right, he's the symbol of desire. Dominates his mouth so he can force it into change. He, um, he, his wand has become natural again. Sexual and creative energy are simply viewed for what they are. It crosses his hand that as if to indicate that there is no duality between him and his energy, but only complete trust. This card represents channeled instinct, creativity, and full mastery of itself. Supreme courage in the presence of life and death, peace, healing abilities, or even a sage who gladly abandons the pleasures of the world to enter into the kingdom of thought. And we do have that happening. So it's maybe like, instead of abandoning this connection, there's more self-development that is needed because on the bottom of the deck, there is um, the two of cups here. And then there's trust, which is awesome. The creator participation. Yes. It just seemed like, okay, I was getting, that was, okay. I understand now this fool here i feel like it's more so about you going inward and even though that book did say what it said I, i'm not getting that it's like um i'm just getting this is a renewal that's coming to this relationship that's needing to come not um a specific like you guys are going to break up basically i'm just getting that renewal is needing to happen and that the renewal is <clears throat> discovering parts about yourself that you know didn't know existed that energy here is very very perplexing and very interesting very um not all over the place but just very uh challenging to read so you may feel like you're going through a challenging time in your relationship <clears throat> just knowing that you will come out on the other side and also you will come out um with new experience but it's simply because you probably are inexperienced in love and it's showing in this connection um so it's just you need obviously both proceed with caution but also persevere because you're just lacking possibly self-confidence um lacking a solid foundation basically and <clears throat> just understanding that all right so um we did current energy now we're going to do current challenge in this relationship current challenge in this relationship <clears throat> my throat's acting funny right now so you may be holding back how you feel about certain things um i don't know my throat never acts as funny during a reading so interesting all right <laughs> and nothing's popping out here so <clears throat> Three of Wands, current challenge. Eight of Swords, current challenge. Ace of Wands, you have the King of Cups with the Nine of Swords. All right, yeah, so there is anxiety in this connection. There was some worry. And this is three wands. Three wands is about expansion, expansion past what you currently know. So again, going back to needing to kind of expand past what you currently know in this relationship to really see some forward movement, to kind of stop doing things so cyclic and to see kind of new results and new passion being inserted into the relationship. But again, I am seeing that. I have a cute little wand here, by the way. I am seeing that there is emotional maturity and emotional connection in this relationship and definitely one that is sexually charged as well. But again, there's that anxiety here, that worry, that fear, understanding that you're creating some of this, 
but it's also based in the past, um, based on and you needing to go inward and to find that inner source of security and to see past current illusions, basically. We have the Ace of Cups, yes, beginning death. Wow. Yeah, so your energy, is, that's. I think that's why it was so challenging to read because as you see here, like, you have like the death card coming before the hermit. I mean, the death card coming before the hangman. And the hangman is someone who, he's like, okay, I, I'm not going to do anything. I, I, I need to kind of become a master. I need to kind of turn away and become a master. And death is like forced mastery almost. And coming in with the king of pentacles here and the ace of cups. This is just like a transition, obviously. But it's like a very powerfully, powerful, emotionally charged transition that is really affecting your physical world at this time possibly affecting your stability um like your spiritual stability and your spiritual strength so you need to go inward and to find your spiritual anchor um finding your spiritual anchor i think is i think it's like this connection is like a check mark I just saw 11 11 by the way this connect this connection is like a check mark but then it's like okay now it's time to go a little deeper go it's time to dig a little deeper all right dig a little deeper and to um grow your spiritual self more i'm getting because we do have this blue here and blue is connected to the throat chakra of vishuddha and it, it is about alignment it is about focus um so yeah it's like we're like it's kind of like you you, you can i think you're feeling like the pressure to expand and not knowing necessarily where to like direct that energy because you have a lot of aces here as well the ace of wands is like a very very powerful card yes but it's also like it can lead to stagnation it can lead to you not doing anything so you need to follow up with that action steps behind and using your emotional stability um that yes a challenge but it being a challenge means you already have it within you to like proceed forward so yeah um, I'm going to go ahead and clarify and see what comes up. Let's clarify. Um, <clears throat> Contemplation. Yes. Needing to expand. Expanding within this connection, though. Yes, we have victim. There's still that woe is me me against the world attitude and you need to understand that your thoughts turn your thoughts do your thoughts emotions are vibrational and it does inform your reality basically um we have numbing and then we have union what is this numbing card I think this is the fear, but we'll see. Oh, okay. We have two cards popping out immediately. We have cycles and we have summer. So you not taking the necessary steps to like, again, to break yourself out of those cyclic thoughts and actions and understanding that summer is a time of like revitalization, of vitality, of um, thriving, um, very, like very like heat as well, very masculine energy. And so we need to focus in on, okay, this is my current reality, basically, and I'm not allowing the fear to interfere, basically, and not allowing this victim stuff to hold me back anymore. Your energy is, this is, and this is why you need that spiritual anchor. You need a spiritual anchor, not just a physical anchor. So I'm suggesting to you to meditate um, because it seems like, you're just like you're needing a compass almost and this connection is an anchor for you yes but it shouldn't be the only one it should be you should have your own internal anchor as well not so much fear present material world lessons action mask all right <clears throat> now the current thoughts feelings for you thoughts and feelings for you.
the energy is so interesting it's so like for you guys to be fire signs it's so like um subdued so you might be talking to someone who like subdues your energy who like mellows you out um but very calming energy surprisingly you have death here again so thoughts toward you nine of cups here <clears throat> They see you as the beginning and the end. Oof. Wow, two nines here. They're ready to take the stuff with you. They're ready to kind of, um, like, they're ready to <clears throat> really, like, commit. And their thoughts are just very focused, very focused on you, very focused on this connection you have for uh, feelings. They are going through an awakening too. Oof, wow. We have the ace again. This is a, a passion. This connection drips in passion. <clears throat> a lot of passion here. All right, your, their thoughts and feelings toward you. Very, very. Uh, Again, it's like a very like they they've like they've they've made how they feel known to you, I feel, like countless numbers of times. And now it's just like taking it to the next level basically. And they're contemplating have we built this connection on solid enough foundation? Is this something that's gonna last? Um so they're thinking long term, future ahead, basically, I'm seeing here like and they're wanting to fully like fully fully commit like you see here like the rings that's what i'm <clears throat> seeing so possibly marriage proposal i don't like saying that in readings but here it is and they're like just making sure that this is built on a solid foundation here and not it's like almost like their mind is stabilizing their heart because they're still developing their emotional body they may be a little bit emotionally immature um because it's like their mind is very firm on you, but their emotions are like still trying to like poke at it and still trying to like tear it apart, basically. Uh, bottom of the deck here. It might be past heartbreak that is influencing their decision, but they're needing to step into the future. A lot of past heartbreak stuff here. Um, just clarifying, you know, very interesting energy here. It's like their mind is more made up on you than their heart is. And I know the heart truly is, but it's like their mind is like, just a little bit, their mind is more accessible to them, I feel. They're, they're very um, masculine feeling. Um, a lot of masculine energy here. Need to control possibly as well. I said the need to control and we have control oh wow that was really interesting okay have here yes stable connection huh too stable they're like what's they're like trying to just they're trying to like take it apart they're trying to break it apart like to make sure it like builds back up we have again thunderbolt all right so i'm going to do one more because i feel like those two go together okay we have here playfulness they need, to, they, just, they need to be more playful with their energy they're very serious your person is a very serious person they're almost too serious it's like gosh darn it just please um be like be more childlike tap into your inner child energy have fun don't be so serious all the time guidance conditioning Oh, this is the double here, I think. X5, yeah, the double. Possible. Yeah, the, the, your person is kind of like, they have too much of a grip on this connection. And it's, oh, it's almost like they're suffocating it in a way. <laughs> All right, the thoughts, feelings. Um, then we're going to do outcome, possible outcome here. All right, so what is a possible outcome for the situation? Like you're very controlling. It's like 
they want to control with they're like scared your person is very worried about this and this you possibly are also worried too you worry too much about this connection uh you worry too much in general probably them anyways um possible outcome for this connection what is a possible outcome for this connection you have the wheel jupiter coming in shifting shit five of pinnacles i mean five of cups excuse me needing a new perspective needing to <clears throat> align with the current reality nine of pentacles detachment three of pentacles it's two three of pentacles here two three of pentacles three of pentacles is definitely grounded creation is like having fun that playfulness energy you have ace of swords yes 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 healing you need to take mental healing you need to work on yourself there's more work that needs to be done with the self i feel um because you're just your mental energy is a little bit chaotic unstable you need to find that stability again um i guess i can clarify i'm gonna clarify with colors here it's three One tip from the top. Develop your destiny. Sweeten your approach. Focus. Um, well, honey. Uh, we have chalkboard. Develop your destiny. Honey. Sweeten your approach. And then we have focus, guidance, and creation. Your focus needs to be on developing your spirituality and your spiritual life. And that anchor. We have here courageous sexuality, horse of muse, success and fortune, power and legacy. And that will bring the most most balance into your life, all right? And then, I, like, energy is so weird. Um, freaking fire signs. Like, I was expecting, like, a lot of zippy, upbeat, and I'm experiencing someone who's so mellow. It's almost like you're unnaturally mellow. We have community. Developing your community. Developing yourself. Yeah, this is time to focus on yourself. You're giving too much of your energy away, I feel. Um... And you have here affirmations, yes. Retreat, communication, abundance, angel assistance. But yeah, I'm getting more to focus on yourself, all right? So thank you so much for watching Fire Signs. Honestly, your reading was a slug to get through for you guys to be fire signs. Um usually energy is just so like I like bouncy, I can't sit still, but it was like almost like you've been subdued in a way. Um so yeah, thank you so much for watching. You know what to do if you like this channel. You know where to look if you would like to work with me privately, which is in the description box down below. Thank you so much. Namaste.